Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to this new video. Today we are going to do something different. We're going for a Maltese strength test. And why are we doing it? Because I found an interesting article about the correlation of athletes that could do a Maltese on rings and their abilities to hold the weight with a dumbbell in their hands in the same position. And they found out that if you could hold in that position with 45 degrees of arm abduction with a straight arm at around 60% of your body weight then you are strong enough to do a Maltese because they found out that all athletes that could do a Maltese on the rings could at least push 60% of their body weight in that position. The protocol they used was um, they started with 20% of their body weight and three seconds of a contraction and then each set they incremented with 5 kg with two to four minutes of break in between. So that is what we're going to do um, because I want to know where I end up. I obviously can't do a ring Maltese yet, but um, let's see how much percentage of my body weight I can push. I just weight myself with shoes, I'm at 80.5 kg and so, you know, the training weight without shoes and without the shirt and all that stuff is at somewhere between uh, 97.5 and 80. So uh, to make it easier, we're taking 80 kg and then let's see where we end up. So guys, because I don't have dumbbells available in my gym that go up so heavy, I just uh, mounted weights on the wings. Um, I start as a warm-up set with 5 kg each ring, doing it a bit more dynamical just to warm up shoulders and biceps. I use the straps of the king of weighted belt here. And getting in the position like this, 45 degree arm abduction, hold next to the body and now I'm just warm up more dynamical to get some blood flowing before that test. Okay, next set 7.5 kg still warming up position 45 degree abduction and straight arms. Elbows should be next to the body. Just warming up. Already uh, not too easy. So I'm pretty curious where we end up. Okay, we're starting now the first test set with 20 kg, so 10 kg each side, which is 1 kg less than 20%, if I was not mistaken in the calculation, but I will double check later. So, 3 seconds hold, let's go, 1, 2, 3. We're starting to increment with 5 kg. 15 kg each side, so 30 kg in total. Three seconds hold. Next set, we now have 10, 15, 17.5 kg each side. Chopped up the hands, got a can of rain in. So let's see if that helps. Three seconds. One, two, three. Yeah. Whew. It's getting serious. 50% body weight to 
20 kg each side. Let's see if we can finish three seconds. Getting closer to the required 60%, we are now at 43 kg. Let's see if we can make the three seconds. very 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 close to max I'm gonna try to increment by 1 kg each side and try it again but as you can see could barely hold the the protraction but yeah pretty happy with that result last attempt for today 55% of my body weight on the rings we have 42 kg uh, 44 kg in total now. Let's see if I can make the three seconds. We'll need to check the video but I think that was valid, wasn't it? But that was absolute max. I will not push it harder today, but heavier than expected. So I got heavier than expected, so stronger than expected, which is nice, I'm happy. Okay guys, and to show you that it's really just a correlation and not a guarantee that if you can go for around 60% of your body weight on that isometric hold exercise that you can automatically do with Maltese on the rings because that depends on tons of other factors as well as biomechanic weight distribution in your body and also technique and practice in that element I will show you my level of rings Maltese which is zero so uh, you see that is really just uh, a correlation and it definitely helps to be strong in those straight arm holes but it will never ever replace the real work on the rings and yeah i'm proof that now by showing you that i can't even get in that position like there is no chance for me to hold the ring maltese like this there is zero chance